Hello and welcome to another edition of the Wind Down Video Blogs. I am your host, Ben Franco. Uh, this week we're going to uh, celebrate some Bordeaux. Um, I'm actually heading to Bordeaux in about two weeks, so uh, I figured I'd start celebrating early with some Bordeaux and I'd share some, uh, some knowledge with you folks as well. Um, we're going to taste a white Bordeaux today and a red Bordeaux. Um, white Bordeaux basically is either going to be um, a blend of Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon, uh, and then sometimes Muscadet um, are basically the, the grapes that are allowed for a white Bordeaux. Um, in a red Bordeaux blend, we're going to have a mixture of, of Cabernet, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Petit Bordeaux, and Malbec. Although you do not see much of Malbec anymore, um, but that was an original blending grape in Bordeaux. Um, you see Petit Verdot um, just kind of like adds a little bit of a spice, sometimes one or two percent. Uh, the the predominant, uh, predominant grape in Bordeaux is Merlot, followed by Cabernet uh, Sauvignon, and then Cabernet Franc. Um, all right, let's get into the first wine. Chateau Chant Grave. Uh, this is a 50-50 blend of, of, of Sauvignon and Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, this does see 50% uh, new oak, uh, and they do something called Lee's uh, stirring, which is basically, um, they call it batonage, which is basically stirring the dead yeast cells, which actually adds some, um, basically, body to the wine sometimes, and sometimes a little bit of a, a, little bit of a yeasty note. Uh, so let's take a look at this wine. Um, I'm going to take a quick peek. It's a beautiful yellow color, uh, some flicks of gold in there. Um, Tears are kind of on medium. Beautiful nose here. Um, there's definitely some citrus grapefruit notes coming out, but then um, you know you're not used to having a Sauvignon Blanc that has uh, oak involved, so you get uh, this beautiful kind of vanilla notes uh, happening as well. So it's kind of it's kind of interesting, kind of a little reminiscent of Chardonnay, but there's there's no real buttery quality here. It's more more real, uh, more just uh, vanilla and uh, spice notes uh, from that vanilla. Beautiful floral component, white flowers as well. That oak adds, that oak and the um, the batonage, the least stir, stirring that I talked about, <clears throat> it adds um, adds that richness to this wine. So there's definitely a richness. Uh, the vanilla component kind of comes comes through. That citrus grapefruit component is really really coming through. Beautiful beautiful wine. If you've never had this this styles of wine, I recommend you come in and check them out. Uh, we're just going to have a, a limited limited run of them. Um, all right, let's go on to the next wine. The next one is the <coughs> Chateau La Rose uh, Tre Tudon. Uh, this is from Au Medoc, so this is the lower part of uh, Medoc. Uh, so this is going to be further further south. So there's Medoc, which is in the north, and then Au Medoc. Uh, so, and this is a what they call a cru bourgeois. Um, things and laws and things in Bordeaux are very complicated, but cru bourgeois. Um, uh, back in a couple hundred years ago, there was uh, like 400 and some of them. Now there's about 237. Uh, basically, it's a it's a group uh, that has gotten together and basically they're they're basically producing their wines um, at a at a higher quality level. Um, and, and there's they've been recognized as such. So uh, there's 200, I think 47 or 37 of them. Um, again, recognized for their better farming techniques and what uh, whatnot, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. But that's kind of like the basics uh, of it. But it does mean a little bit, uh, a little bit more quality on your label there. Um, so this um, this blend, uh, I believe, uh, is is a 60/40. So 60% Cabernet, 40% uh, Merlot. Um, so let's take a look at it. I'm just giving it a quick, quick look here. So it's a beautiful ruby color. Um, I can see that. Uh, tears here, I would say um, medium and just a little bit of staining there. Uh, 
Uh, beautiful black fruits here, uh, blackberry, black cherry, uh, definitely um, some notes of cassis happening. There's a little bit of uh, a kind of a funk happening as well, uh, kind of a, a you know soil, potting soil, uh, earthiness, leather. Getting a little bit of that um, new wood there, a um, little bit of like clove uh, happening at the bottom. All those flavors carry through. Um, you know the, the black, the black cherry, the black blackberry cassis. Um, you get that little bit of uh, spice component happening in there as well. Um, tannins here, medium, uh, really, uh, you know, not a very super tannic bomb here, um, but that's not what you're going to get from uh, from Bordeaux anyway. Um, but beautiful, beautiful, voluptuous, nice little wine uh, that I think you'll enjoy in the glass. All right, uh, come check out, come learn a little bit about Bordeaux this week, and we'll see you next time on the Wine Down video blogs.